Welcome back everyone to another video and today's video is going to be another Terraria guide for you guys and today's video is going to be everything you need to know about hard mode ores in Terraria. Now if you want to get hard mode ores you guys are going to have to go and defeat the wall of flesh. Now you guys probably already did that because you wouldn't have looked up this video if you haven't. If you guys want to know anything everything everything you need to know about hard mode ores here is what you guys are going to need to know. This is the set of hard mode ores, including this one right here. And these are what also they play into the hard mode ores when you guys get into hard mode. Now, what you guys are going to want to do is obviously defeat the wall of flesh like I told you guys to do. And make sure you guys come and go back to your house and let's get on with this video as I said. So now when you guys defeat the wall of flesh, you are going to get a hammer. Now, a hammer is to destroy one of these. One of them, which, whichever one you chose, you will have. Since Terraria lets you choose Crimson or Corruption. This one is Corruption, and this one is Crimson. As we got that down, you guys are going to have to go down and go to your Corruption area. Find as much as you possibly can, but be warned. If you break... Um, if you break too much of these demon altars, the corruption is going to obvious. The corruption is obviously going to spread a lot quicker. It's going to spread a lot quicker around your world, and your world is going to be screwed because you're going to have to get the contaminator and uh, some green solution and kind of fix that. So, I suggest not to break too much of these, if at all. Now, the amount you break is the amount. The, of the ores you guys are gonna get so the more you break the more ores the less you break the less ores but the more you break the more the corruption spreads and the less you break the less the corruption spreads so make sure you go and not break too much of the demon altars because you are going to need some uh, at least some of them to craft so you're, you you craft with these things but i don't think you guys want the corruption to spread around your world so make sure you guys keep it on the on the low here and uh so yeah so you guys are going to obviously have to go and start searching for ores all right so as we said that you guys are going to have to go and search for ores. So if you didn't break too much, you're going to have to search really hard, far and wide. Because, yes, the less you break, the less ores you're going to get. So, this is cobalt and this is plutium. This is mithril. This is orkelkium. I'm pretty positive. Uh, I said that right. This is adamantite. This is titanium. titanium, And this is chlorophyte. Chlorophyte spawns in the jungle as soon as you get into hard mode, but when you defeat Plantera, it spreads obviously faster, and that's how you guys get this ore, but you can't mine it. You have to have the Drax, so you have to defeat a mechanical boss to get it, but it spreads more when you de uh, defeat Plantera. Now, if you guys want to get this, you guys are going to need to have at least 100 pickaxe power, which is the molten pickaxe, and uh, yeah, so... Usually I use the Molten Pickaxe for one of these, which you need Hellstone to get, and it is, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's 20 Hellstone bars to get the Molten Pickaxe. You guys are going to need a pickaxe from one of these guys right here, and you uh, you guys are going to need, like, wh whatever one you, okay, I should have said this in the beginning. Now, it is completely... And listen to me when I say this, because I know a lot of people can uh, actually get, uh, not let this get past them. They're completely random. No matter which one is better, they're completely random. All right? Your world is going to choose it, which which ores set of ores you have. 100% randomized. Your world chooses the amount of ores you have. It, you're... It, it chooses the set of ores you have you don't get to choose your world does but you can fish for your ores and get the other set of ores by fishing now that does take a long time because you guys are going to need some crates and uh some uh, you know you're gonna need some fishing power bait a lot of stuff that you need to do uh i have you uh, need to build your own lake if you guys want to because it makes it easier to fish it's just going to be a really time consuming job just to get the other set of ores by fishing now i got that out of the way because i had a, a lot of comments on my last video saying okay um while well, my world's being blessed with this but not that and then this and that and that and this and it's again 
randomized. So you guys are going to want to go ahead and search for these two. Make sure you guys grab these ores because this is going to actually open you to the gate to these two. Whatever one you have, make the pickaxe out of and then you guys are going to be able to go ahead and open the door to Mithril and Orkelkium. Now Mithril and Orkelkium is going to be able to open you to the door to these. Now whatever one you have, you can do that. And this is going to be as far as you're going to get until you defeat the mechanical bosses. But I suggest to get either titanium or adamantite, whatever one you have. I suggest you to get that and then defeat, try to fight the bosses. Because you can, trust me, you can fight the bosses in Plidium and Cobalt Armor. It's just the, the amount of defense you have and accessories you have. You can completely pull it off with Cobalt Armor. If you are good at the game. If you guys want a, you know, you can even do it with these set of armor. Plidium armor does give you a bonus of actually healing. I'm pretty positive. This is actually going to be a stronger set of armor. I'm not, I don't know the bonuses, uh, set bonuses, if they even have one. All I know is that Adamantite and titanium, titanium is going to be your go-to for armor if you guys want to. They do take long and they do spawn uh, titanium and adamantite spawn deep underground. These ones spawn usually, uh, this one usually spawns underground, kind of close. You'll probably end up trying, maybe finding it around close to hell. This one probably be in the middle. You can find this one on surface. These two, you can find these ones pretty high. But again, if you can't find them, it's because you broke less demon altars because you didn't want the corruption to spread. But again, if you break more, more ores spawn. So if you break every single demon altar in your world, your corruption will spread quickly, but yet you'll have more ores. And that's pretty much what you guys need to know about hard mode ores. I have a pickaxe guide, which will be in the card up there. If I missed anything, let me uh, let me know because there's a lot of thing you a lot of things you guys can do. You do not need to actually break the demon altars. You can, again, fish for your ores. If you want to fish for your ores, you can completely do that. They come in crates, but yet it is a time-consuming place. Unless if you have a good fishing rod. Lots of fishing accessories. Lots of uh, fishing potions and bait and good, uh, nice bait and stuff like that. As long as you guys have the time and means to fish for your ores, you can completely do it without breaking any demon altars, which is obviously going to keep your corruption to spread really slowly and you're going to be able to contain it a lot faster or a lot easier as I should say. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. I hope it was everything that you guys needed to know about hard mode ores. I hope this guide was very helpful for you guys. If it was, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to click subscribe and the bell notification because I do a lot of uh, a lot of videos that on my channel that might be interesting to you. So if you guys are really interested in this video, make sure uh, to click the subscribe button. Uh, this is the first time I've said this in years and make sure to click the like button as well uh, I just fixed this video so thank you everybody so much for watching and I hope the guide was helpful for you peace